the same music everywhere for a month or more. If it's not Wham, it's Mariah Carey. And if it's not Mariah Carey, it's Slade or Bing Crosby. Though I do enjoy playing Happy Christmas, War is Over, to Dieter to confuse and irritate him. The war with him will never be over. Bah! Humslug! But it's a time for giving, sharing and spending time with your family. Spend time with your family, those ingrates. You spend all year working to support your family and still spend time with them. Then you're forced to spend even more time with them. To go shopping for presents in crowded shopping centres and high streets. To buy lots of food, to put up decorations and fill your house with Things that have nothing to do with the real Christmas. And then there's Christmas Day. Waking early to cook a turkey, being pestered to give presents, wash and tidy up and then go to bed exhausted. Bah! Humslug! I love doing all those things. If we had the money for a turkey, that is... Christmas just comes to remind us that we're another year older. What is there to celebrate? Another year? Wiser too? No, you're not, Mr Cratchit. If you were wiser, then you wouldn't still be working here. Now, if you wish to do as many others and celebrate this awful festival, then you can. But don't make me join in. I do not like Christmas and I will not be jolly about it. But this is the one time of year when all are welcoming, happy and smiling. Just go outside and you can feel Christmas in the hearts of all. In the hearts of all? Have you been to the shopping centres at this time of year? It's a free-for-all. Every slug for him or herself. It's madness. You won't find much Christmas cheer there. Mr Zapple, sir. Would it be possible to leave early this eve so that I can spend time with my family? The sky had turned dark long ago. Just because it's Christmas Eve does not mean that we finish work early. It's just another day, no matter what the morons say. Get back to work. But Mr Zapple, back to work. Two hefty-looking twin slugs that went by the names Jim and John came into my writer's studio, scarves around their necks and broad smiles upon their faces. They carried a plastic red collection bucket. On the front of the collection bucket it read, Save the slugs. Steve the slug? Jim asked. Steve the slug has been dead for many a year, as you well know. Well, uh... Merry Christmas anyway, the twin slugs said. Bah, humslug, what do you two want? Can't you see we're working? Get back to the hallway and conduct your business there.